Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast, everyone's favourite podcast, Cricket is Back. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. We are back, gentlemen, in the studio for the summer of cricket in Australia. Who am I going to start with? I'll start with Marcus Barzano. Was watching Mitchell Johnson highlights to warm himself <laughs> up. He is up and about. How you going, yes, Marcus? I'm very up and about. I'm, we're good. We're psyched. We played the old school Channel 9 yes, intro. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, Can we no get rights to that? Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm not sure. We'd have to do like a weird dubbed version. Like, you know. We could do that. Yeah. yeah. Gerald can do it. Gerald. Gerald. Gerald's got magic in his hands. Anyway, Leo's wearing a really cool uh, top. <laughs> I can't oh. that moment before. I'm sick of hearing from him. Hey, go on, Liam. Yeah, right? good. Thanks. It's been a long time between innings. Hasn't I know. It? I know. Yeah, I haven't even seen you guys back. since the last episode. Yeah. I reckon. How which have you one, been? Which one yeah, is very Leo good. on the shirt? Uh, the one with the this data. The one with the fag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the uh, All right. The summer of cricket is finally here, lads. We're going to go through a huge Aussie cricket season preview. We're going to cover... Uh, the series against Pakistan and yep. then against India. So you got Australia playing Pakistan. But stats guy, which series <laughs> against Pakistan? What do you mean? The ODI series and the T20 all series. All of them. All of them. We're going to cover all of them. There we go. <laughs> Good segue there. <laughs> that was a weird segue. Uh, yeah, we're going to cover all of them. So we've got Pakistan and yeah, India. So India's playing in the five test series. Yep. We've got Pakistan in a three uh, it's an ODI match series and yep. then a three hey, T20 series. You did the run, run sheet, mate. You so there we go. Oh, I'm not even trying to look at it. I just want to look at you. <laughs> Both lads. three match series. But yeah, so yeah, questions. We're also going to answer questions from all of our subscribers, which we've uh, had a look at Insta, yes. had a look at uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. So anytime you want to comment on the YouTube, make sure you get around it. It pays to follow. It pays mm. to follow. It does. Because we're going to give you a shout out. We can give a page a shout out. Nice to see Jimbo will be in the comments, I'm sure. We absolutely yeah. love that. Helps us, helps you. Exactly. So get around it. So make sure you subscribe to this uh, yeah, on YouTube. So click that subscribe button and the bell as well. So it gets into your feed, yep. gives you a notification and things like that. Make sure you uh, subscribe and follow this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, socials, Cricket Today AU, Cricket Today Podcast. Get right. this out like a, like a machine gun, I mate. just want to get it out because I want to get into the show. I'm so excited. We'll start with at the very top. Yeah. This is a couple of weeks away, Australia versus Pakistan. We love Australia and we love Pakistan on this show. Are we very excited, lads? So I'm excited. excited. <laughs> Where, are so we going excited. to the first one? Yeah. It's at the MCG. Yeah, yeah we're going. It's, we're going. Uh, I was going to say two kicks away, which we say on the AFL show. What's a cricket? Uh, one Travis six head six away. away. One, Travis one, six. one Travis head six. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, over yeah. there somewhere. Where are you looking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yeah, the Eiffel Tower, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so it's Australia versus Pakistan starts November 4th. MCG, three-match mm. series. I'll have a look at the past ODI meetings. Pakistan have won 2-1 in Pakistan in 2022, which was... Yeah, there was a big gap between Australia going over to they Pakistan. Pakistan in Pakistan, in I England, think that was it wasn't wasn't the last time we went over there in Pakistan. And before that, it was always in I Dubai. Think so, yeah. I think that was the first time. It was actually pretty dangerous over there. Before mm. that, Australia won four one in Australia in twenty seventeen. So we haven't really had some ODI series uh, against them in a long time. Mm. And then there's also some big news. We we love King Bobby. We love him. <laughs> I talked about this on a TikTok He's yesterday. The man. He's the but boy. he's been dropped from the oh, test no. side. And the rumor has it that Rizwan is taking over him as captain in the white ball summer. Yes. Yeah. Well, we actually had a fan question about that. Oh, we, we, do, we wanna, do you want to go into that now? Why or? not? Why not? Why Good not? segue. We're talking about it. There we go. I've got you say segue twice I in know. the <laughs> first five minutes of, of, our, of our show. So go that's on. Good. What, what's the uh, fan question? So it's Ibrahim underscore underscore 10. Yep. Apparently. He commented on our Instagram story. Who should be Pakistan's next white ball captain? So Ooh. we've listed there that Rizwan is expected to take over. Yep. I think it should be Rizwan, but it's what do you be guys the think? The yeah. Riz, the Riz the King. Riz he's King. got the Riz. Oh, what about- I wonder what his chat's like on field. He might just talk up the opponents. Yeah, for he's, sure. He's going to just try and take him out for dinner. Riz. He's a keeper though, so yeah. he's got a bit of, bit of chat. I, I like the keeper being captain. It's very- it's good on the eyes. I the keeper setting the field. Yeah, yeah. I don't no, know. I agree. It's good on the no, eyes. Because then if he needs to talk to the ball, he's got to run all the way over and then run True. all the way back. And it's yeah. just not True. convenient. Well, who else? I, I think it is going to be Rizban, but who else do we think could put their hand Shah up? Masood, I think, yeah. as well as another. Uh, yeah. Is he, he, was he listed in the, the squad as well? Uh, he we, might be injured the at the moment. Here. I don't no, think he is. Um, this is the is, yeah, this no. the predicted Pakistan squad because the Australia squad is out, but the Pakistan one isn't. I'm trying to have a look at who else. There's not that many... Leaders in this team, like yeah, a few, no. lot of younger guys. Shut up, Khan. Shut Shane up, Khan. Afraidi. Possibly, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to have a look. Yeah, but like I, again, I don't really like Samir. I don't really like <laughs> bowlers being. Captain. Oh, you don't? No, I, I don't like it. Okay. Um, so he hates Cummins. Well, no, but like Cummins isn't really skipper. Like, let's be real. Like, it's Steve Smith. I liked being a bowler and uh, being captain. Then you oh, no, that's even true. if your team yeah, doesn't want Steve, you to bowl, you can give yourself a bowl. It's good. Like, I, <laughs> How much does a captain actually do on the pitch anyways? They get they what do you mean? Their, they, they do a lot. <laughs> Cricket is like one of the sports they do heaps. Bowlers, bowlers set their field pretty much. Captain yeah. says Yeah, it changes a little bit. Yeah. Coach gives them basically the bowling order. Yeah. And how often change. And, and it's no, often not like, how often I the bowlers like are tired. When it's a long session, 
Cummins would have a, a massive say in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, but you just bowl to a bowl as a toy. Huh? You just bowl to a bowl as a toy. What about an ODI? ODIs are different, though. ODI, ODI, yeah, more, it's a little bit the different. The white ball, there's more tactics in the white ball, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. Anyway, having a look at the uh, Aussie squad, you've got Cooper Connolly in there, so some nice. younger guys. Jake Fraser yeah, McGurk, the wrong. rooster. Mm. Marcus' favourite man, which you'll uh, talk about later. We're going to see some fun content. Also, yeah, we we mentioned that we're going to be at the at the game. Yes, game one, MCG, November four. Yes. So if you see us, say hello. Yes. If you see someone wearing a weird mask, then <laughs> oh, is that take a photo. Then. Don't go in their van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. What type of mask? I know you have all types of masks. Well, in your if bedroom, you come to the game, you'll find uh, out. There well, you go. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, who said that? No, no, no. Of course not. Uh, yeah, what I was going to say about the Aussie squad: it's a strong com combination of youth and experience for the Aussies. Yeah, I'm yep. trying to get back to a little bit more serious stuff. I think. Yeah, you've got a lot of older guys, which we see in the test lineup. But then you've got Jake Fraser, you've got Cooper Connolly, uh, who mm. else? We've got Aaron. Is Aaron Hardy still young? Yeah. Youngish. He's young. He's new. But he's he's, he's, he's not new. He's Matt Short, new, Matt to the, Short, new to the team. He's new to the team as well. So yeah. I'm hoping. I don't know about you guys that a few of these guys get a game because I think in the short format we can definitely tr tr trial yeah. and error a little bit more rather than the test. Who match were the three agreed. that missed? Just off the top of your head, it's um, probably going to be Connolly, <laughs> Abbott. Yeah, I maybe. think he's a bit overrated. Um, who else? I think, I think everyone will get a game. Yeah, but for the first one. Um, yeah, so oh. they all can't get a game. How many people are the 14? <laughs> no, but like they all get a game throughout the series. Yeah, but who, the first, first one? I don't know. You can never really tell. Probably Hardy, Connolly, and... Depends how strong you want to go. Yeah. But they might play Abbott over, say, Hazelwood. Well, Marnus is in very bad form, to be fair. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe, we'll maybe, it's one, maybe it's one of Stoinis or Hardy. Yeah. And the other one misses out. I don't mind that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, nice. We've got uh, the Aussies are coming off a 3 2 ODI series win against England. So they'll be up and about. Yeah, they won the mm. first two, then lost the next two, and won the last. Yeah, there yeah. we go. That's, that's how you get breakdown. 3 2. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the breakdown we give on the <laughs> today. Jeez, that was, that was great. That was great. Nuggets and all the uh, Do we want to answer any more questions? So we've got a lot of questions, a lot of fans from Pakistan. Do yep. you want to go through mm. a few more of them as, as yeah. a social media? Oh, guy? do you want me to? Cool. You're throwing me under the bus here. I'm just trying to get you on the show. Before the show, he was like, oh, God, I have to read all these out. And now he's just fine. I'm happy to read something out but you were on a roll well, you don't like our fans <laughs> i love our fans more than you guys wow. yeah yeah so sure. they're all pretty much the same question yes which is well what do we think about Barbara Azam being dropped mm. oh look we love Barbara Azam. it was probably the right decision. it was probably the right decision. he is in the squad i think he'll play the white ball won't yeah. be captain because it mm. might actually help him because it helped when uh was it steve smith when he wasn't captain a little bit in yeah. the uh, test lineup, he started making runs again when he came back. Maybe yeah. just a little bit less pressure, yeah, possibly. Because like Ben Stokes, Stokes not white ball captain for England. It's uh, there you Josh go. Butler, isn't there you it? go. I believe, yeah. So just one flog taken over another. <laughs> your, two, your two favorite players. Um, your words, mate. But like, like I'm saying, I'm trying to say is, yeah, Bubba. If you're the captain of India or Pakistan, for example, even Australia, mm -hmm. but to a lesser extent, there is so much pressure on you to yeah. perform. Like, mm. like they cop death threats. Like we we've seen our comments uh, from certain fan bases <laughs> that we yeah. So he would cop it all the time. So maybe I'll cop the death threat. Uh, death threat yeah, he probably is like, yeah. I'm mean, just laughing off. That's all. Yeah. That's all good. But I think he would cop it a lot more, obviously. And yeah, I think he's gonna do well if he's not captain. If they do pick him, do you think he'll get? You do you reckon he'll get picked? I think he will. Yeah, the player for. The name escapes me that replaced him in the test team made a century in the first um, innings of yeah. replacing Bubba. Oh, they, yeah, there no, you go. I don't see his name in the ODI squad, so I okay. think he will he will start Bubba. Okay, but, that's good. Mm. That's good. Uh, is Should there any more big questions? What's another one? Should Australia play any of the younger guys? I think we mentioned that, that a few of them might miss out. But out of all the younger guys, newer guys coming in, who's the first player you're picking? That would be my big um, question. <sighs> Fraser McGurk. Yeah, Crazy I think McGurk, so. Yeah, yeah. We absolutely oh, love the rooster. He uh, will probably well, for my struggle, case, though. he has to. Yeah, for my case, he has to. Oh, um, let's yeah. just put it that way. Yeah, okay. Don't mind that. Yeah. And then, yeah, do we want to shout out some of the names? So, should Barber have been dropped? Was by Hunain Sami Khan. We've got Ashia Moin. Do you still support Barber after his bad performance? Always we support Barber. Mm. Always support Barber. Uh, Kieran Zera, Barber's arm drop from the Test squad may not make squad for Australia. The, this is again a predicted squad. I think he'll make the squad at the very least. He'll make the squad at the very well, least. I actually wouldn't mind him not playing because then oh. he's on the sidelines doing the water and we might get a sneaky phone. Yeah, but we're going to try a chat to him. Yeah. We're going to try yeah. work our magic. And then the other one was yeah. from uh, Aram Masin. Same thing about Barbara Azam. Uh, and then it's Mashir. Do you think it was the right decision to leave Barbara out against England? So that's a yeah. bit of a different question. Yeah. Maybe just to change it up, like you said, the guy that came in. Uh, made, well, uh, made 118 in the first innings. I forgot his name though. Show me a check. They beat yeah. England, didn't they? 
Yes, they yes, did. They How did. crazy is that? Yeah. That's why I put England at ten in my uh, world rankings. <laughs> yeah, check that yeah. out. Check that out. I just another one. Saddam underscore oh six. He just sort of points out: Are there any flaws in Bubba's technique? I think maybe one is not the, his cover drive. Well, I was actually going to say the the oh. wider one. That's oh. a bit not cover drive. Yeah, length, like what, like sort of like pokes at it a little stump. bit. Fifth stump line. That's not the half volley, so can't should cover leave drive. it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's sort of. Okay. Making him undone a little bit. And when you sort of get that flaw, then you start just finding ways to go out. So you get caught down leg side. You get caught hitting one you probably True. should hit for four. True. It's probably what happens to Marnus and Smith nowadays, to be yeah. honest. But um, I feel like they're, they're better at judging when to leave the ball and when to play at it. Smith gets mm, uh, uh, LBW by leaving the ball. What is he yeah. doing yesterday? I saw yeah. that against Bolton. And then he complains to the umpire. Yeah, yeah classic. All right, let's get a prediction <laughs> going for this one. Australia vs Pakistan. The ODI series starts November 4 at the G. We'll mm. be there. We'll go a series prediction. How about that? So it's a yep. three match series. What's it going to be like? I think 3 0. 3 0. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Oh. I do like Pakistan's bowling, but I think, yeah, just I think conditions. in a shorter format, they can sneak one. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go Australia yeah. 2 1. They've got the pace for the conditions, but we know these grounds better than anyone. True. Yeah, I think, yeah, Australian, Australian conditions, and I think our bowling lineup. Yep. Against a, a, a batting lineup that's. Against Pakistan, that's largely struggling uh, apart from like an outlier here and there and like Rizwan, who's, who in ODIs have been carrying the bat a little bit for them. Yep. Um, but yeah, yeah Australia should dominate big, this. Rizwan yeah. will win in a big series, that's for sure. Yep. All right, the other series, Australia vs. Pakistan, starts November 14, the T20 series. Mm. I'm very excited about that because we, I think a f they might pick a few BBL guys, which I'll we'll touch on. Uh, three match series, past T20 meetings, Australia lead 3-0 in the past three meetings since 2020 against Pakistan. Yep. Mm. I'm trying to remember if they've played each other in a World Cup, but I don't think we have. I think we've been on different no, sides. The last one I remember is that Matthew Wade one. You know, oh, they're nervous when they come. Yeah. Is that, was it that one? Yeah, that, that was one, a semi-final yeah. or a final? That was a semi-final because we played New Zealand in the final. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the big question I've got, we haven't got the squads yet for Australia versus Pakistan in this series, but do we think any of the BBL stars from last season emerge in this? So usually yeah. ODI, <laughs> nah. you get the team players that are sort of on another level. And then they sometimes pick like a, a BBL, really good BBL player. Or They've two. already mm. really done that though in the, in the ODI. ODI. True. So do we think the think ODI squad will be very similar to to the T20 yeah, squad? It's, it's Australia. We like to keep it boring, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Oh, we, got um, we just win. And it's so uh, was Nathan boring. Ellis in the ODI squad? No, actually, yeah. He's someone, he might be in the T20 He's squad. someone that's always in the 2020 squad. True. So I just I, Berendorf got T20 player of the year, remember? Oh, <laughs> and didn't do anything. It's a bit frustrating when Australia, like 2020s and ODIs, we just pick the same players no matter yeah. the form. We've had very in, good uh, consistency with it, other than we the do, last World like, Cup, obviously. I know, but like, I'd like to see some some fresh faces, some new names. Um, Actually, is David Warner we, we, still who was the, playing T20 internationals? I don't know. Wait, uh, that's another thing we'll touch on uh, very yeah, soon as well, that he's, he might be putting his hand back up, but... Yeah, I think I think Nathan Ellis could be a bit of a shout. Who was the uh, Xavier Bartlett in the oh, last yeah. ODI series? Yeah, he'll play. Series. Probably, he'll play. Um, he was ODI though. Big. He wasn't T Twenty, was he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Surely they pick him. Mm. He he was Ooh. he was the best. Oh. Wasn't he the leading wicket? Ooh, uh, Glenn McGrath. He was. He took ah. over Spencer Johnson. Yeah, in the, in so, the final. So Spencer yeah. Johnson and uh, Xavier Bartlett were the two leading wicket takers. Surely mm. one of them get a go in the T Twenty final. What do you guys think? I think Spencer Johnson. I think Spence should. Yeah, Spence. Spence yeah, 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 shout yeah. out. Yeah. Sorry, Spence on the camera. Uh, all right, so let's get into. Oh, actually, there's another argument in the uh, comments there. Coley versus Baba. Do we want to touch on that first before we before we Rajput get past? Rajput Salman and Muhammad <laughs> Minarif said, uh, "Yes, yeah, the Bubba. final showdown or your all-time views on Baba and first Coley." We We're still go. talking about Pakistan, so I'm like, I might as well bring this one up. We've got to go Coley, don't we? For now, yeah. yeah. Well, Coley's in the he's, side. He's actually he's an all-time great. <laughs> yeah, Baba is a lot better bloke, better person. I think. Yeah. Have you met them? Better eyebrows. I haven't met better eyebrows. <laughs> Eyebrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's yeah. eyebrows. Sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't have went plural there. Um, but I think we've got to go Coley over our career. But in terms mm. of uh, yeah, person, I'd like to have a – I was going to say have a beer with, but I don't know if they do that. But. Talking about Spencer Johnson, give us your best bowling action, Spence. Behind the camera. Wait, what? what? Give us your best <laughs> bowling action, <laughs> mate. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> That was great. That was, that, was, like, that was like wee bowling action. All right, because you've thrown it under the bus there, you've got to do your, your one now. I can't do it here. Why not? We got we got a video <laughs> coming out of us at the Nets. Do you we? can see my bowling oh, action. I forgot, oh, I, forgot about that. I don't know if that's been yeah, the yeah, it might have it's no. uh, gone missing. It's gone, missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone I reckon. Yeah. Um, all right. This is we're just quickly touching on this series because it's still a while away. Australia versus Pakistan predictions, three match series as well, T twenty. What do we think? Do you think this is gonna be a bit closer? You two both? one Australia. Two one Australia? Yeah, I'll go two one. I think twenty twenty is series a bit more unpredictable. I'm going two one Australia as well, because yeah. Pakistan they showed a bit in the uh, last T20 World Cup. They made a final yep. two World Cups ago, wasn't it, in T20 World Cup as well? 
uh, oh, against, against England. England. Yeah, the I'll G. Go to G. So yep. maybe yep. maybe they'll do something uh, in Melbourne or wherever the yeah T20s are. There we go. Nice. Pr- mm-hmm. Predictions done. I just wanted to quickly go through that one because yeah. T20s still. Don't need justify stuff, mate. T- T20s. We'll get into no that. We'll get into that. that in a month. We're going to have a whole big bash series of 2020. Exactly. With Pakistan players as well. So Yes. There is, um, yeah, Pakistan players. Unlike in the IPL, Pakistan players can play in the BBL. We are welcoming. Yeah, we are very welcoming. All right. This is the big one. The biggest thing of this summer, I think, that anyone's going to be watching. Australia versus India Test what Series. What about Sri Lanka? What? The two match series at the end. What about the no one cares Prime Minister's that. 11? No. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come no on. No one cares about that. Come no one cares about the Sri Lanka one. Everyone in the whole world of cricket will be watching Australia versus India. Is mm. this? I'm just going to touch on it straight away. Is this rivalry bigger than Australia versus England? No, we just always beat England? shut up. No. As in the turn. Shut up. Hey, hey, hey. I'm I'm wrong. Wrong. I didn't say it it's was. As always, did wrong. I say it was? Yes, you did. I'm putting it you out there. You were going to imply it. You were going to imply it. I am saying, in terms of the cricket being played, baseball is crap. We always oh, beat England. What's the quality of cricket? The quality and then the banter. I, I thought you were it. talking about like the spice. I wasn't going to say it's bigger than the Ashes. Calm I down, reckon mate. he was because I reckon he's he going to finish he his thought it. and be like, he was in because the I think it's kind of leaning that way, guys. I want to, when did I get sassy? Oh, that was, that was, that was it has become more fiery this rivalry. I and think, I think the, the cricket past, overall okay. has been better. I wasn't going to say it's better than the Ashes. Oh yeah, Ashes the cricket's hundred percent better. Best. Yeah, oh, the cricket sure. is way better. Agreed? The best two na- best two cricketing nations yeah. at the moment. And the reason yeah. I was just bringing that up is because India have won uh, the past four Border Gavaskar trophies, including the last two meetings in Australia. No one beats. Uh, other than India beats Australia. One in Australia. of them was mm. when we didn't have half our team because of the, the ball band. tampering. Yeah, yeah. And the other one was we just half our team. Two it. players, yeah. and then and yeah. we choked it, and then they won that last match with half their team out. Remember yeah. they well, had like yeah. eighteen year olds, nine year olds at the start of that series. We bowled them out for thirty six. Yeah, that was the very first yes. game. Yes. Was in, um, I, I got into an Adelaide, argument wasn't with an uh, Indian fan base, and then everyone in my section wow. just yelled yelling out thirty six. It was it was great. So that's oh, why we don't have more Indian followers. Yeah, uh, they recognize your face. I think mm. that's because we got a lot of Pakistan followers, but you you be the judge. Yeah, <laughs> horses. Come on, we're we're, we're trying to we're unite. We're trying we, are, to... we are trying to unite in the cricket today, Pocket. We, we're yeah, always we're trying to inclusive. unite India and Pakistan. Dude. Yeah, we're so <laughs> violent. This show might them. not last long. <laughs> no, it might. Yeah, it might not. Actually, we should we could wear both kits. Have you seen that guy that wears both kits and he's like, the half half, the half half kit? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that should be illegal, though, surely. That is a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. You would anyway, some big some big talking points on Australia versus India five test series. The thing I saw this morning, mm. what the hell? The old man, David Warner, may yeah. want to return to the test team. He's like, to me, hey guys, I could see if you give guy. me a call, Mate, I could, I see, could see, I happen- see it happening. And we're a bit desperate for an opener. I'm not of even joking. Of course he was going to do this. He's just blurring the lines. I don't even know if he's retired from T20 anymore. The only like, thing he should have retired he? from was TikTok. Really? Yeah, yeah that's like, a good call. Get off TikTok, mate. What are you that's doing? That's a good call. You're an old man. Um, Got some trauma there. So Do you, I don't know. Yeah, I've got great cricket day podcast follow on TikTok. That's great. <laughs> what? Who you hurt, hurt me. Um, do we think that's a good idea though? David Warner coming back. I don't think it will happen. No. I do don't we think, think it there's will. a chance. And do we think that's a good idea? <sighs> no, I don't. I, don't I definitely think, think there's a chance. Do I think really? it's a good idea? No. Because he hasn't played in what six months. No, I, yeah, I know. Actually, but like a few players probably haven't. You look at the players that we've consistently given opportunities to. The Marcus only person, Harris every time he comes in, average. Uh, Bancroft. Ban- uh, if, uh, actually, I'd probably like to see Bancroft in there. Mm. Even though he started this um, domestic series poorly, mm. last season he was killing it. He was a top run scorer, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, so he does, had a very good average. And he's got stiff. He didn't get a go um, last test series. Yeah, so that's the big, oh, I'll say big question, but the big talking point of this match is uh, obviously Cam Green out for the summer. Yeah. Spinal surgery. So that's, just brutal. He's had so many injuries. Like he was gonna bat and not bowl, and then they're like, "Mate, you can't even like hardly stand up." So you need to have some surgery. <laughs> Steve Smith, that means slides back down the order. He was happy Good. about that. Everyone in the team was happy about that. Apparently, minus everyone and, in Australia is happy about that. Well, mm. I, I, the coaches really wanted Steve Smith to open, apparently, but I don't know. That was just weird. The opener is looking to get in the side. You've got Marcus Harris, Cam Bancroft, Matt Renshaw, and Constas from uh, New South. What's, I forgot his first name. Sam. Sam, that's right. Sam Constance. Yeah. So Constance obviously hasn't played before. All the 19 rest. years old. 19 Good years old. For a duck or not many. That against, was uh, bull crap. Did you see? That looked like it was going down. Bowling got him out. LBW. I, I, thought, yeah. I think the umpire just goes, oh, bowling at the G. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just give it out. <laughs> well, he made 43 in the second second inning. Oh, that's not playing. Are they playing today? <laughs> Yeah, they are. They got the new, G. Yeah, yeah. new South Wales. Tom, Tom that's really? in the office went, oh, we got a lot to do there. Yeah, we could go. Yeah. We could go. Do some content. I actually have work to do, but you guys can. We could we go. Could do work. We could actually go. All right. If you go onto Let's the RG it. today. Meet us at the G today. Yeah, there'll be like- We're going to go find Link. It's free entry. They don't, you don't oh, don't they? Yeah, oh, you don't pay. Got, yeah, anyway. That's all right. Yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, let's can we answer this question? Who out of all those openers? Because someone has to come in. Who are you bringing into the side? Uh, or, or is it David bit, Warner? Bit too soon for Constance. I can't even say his name. Constance. Constance. Yeah, Constance. 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 Yeah, I think it Jesus. is a bit too soon. Yeah. Uh, so you're looking at you got to reward Bancroft or ha Ooh. Bancroft or Harris. Ooh. I'm happy with either. Like, give me one. I just yeah, said Bancroft. One. Oh, then you went yeah. Bancroft to Harris. Bancroft. All right, I'm going. I'll, yeah. I'll go Bancroft as well. Don't mind that. But who replaces Cam Green in the lineup? We just said he's going to be out. <laughs> That's what. I, what are you talking? about? <laughs> We're talking about the opener. <laughs> yeah, but Steve Smith it was goes down the order. Cam Green's out. We only need to replace <laughs> one player. No, no, <laughs> no. We bring in an opener and we replace Cam Green, and that means it's time. It's finally time but for the most disrespected man in cricket history. Michael Nisa. Michael Nisa. I like that. I like that. But who's he coming out? He has to play. We need two players wait, out for that. Yeah, we need no, another No, he has to play. <laughs> he has to play. We need Give another me, player. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Let's do a, what's the predicted test? Yeah, no, but so uh, if Cam Green's out, which I already yeah. said, and then the opener comes in, where's Nisa going? Is he running the drinks or is he in? Nisa, Nisa has to play. But who's get, who are you getting rid of? Nisa has to play. Where? <laughs> Open him. I don't care. Open him. He's a bummer, him. Man. He's an all-rounder. <laughs> Is it hot in here? <laughs> get him in. Do you know what you've said though? You got, just get him in. You know what you're talking about? Now? Get him in. All right. No, but yeah, genuinely, who in this 11 are we getting? No one. He's not taking anyone's spot unless someone gets injured. Uh, Alex Carey. <laughs> the keeper? Yeah. Who's keeping? Bring him off. Marnus can probably keep. He does everything else. Marnus can actually have a bowl, actually. There's been a lot of <laughs> talk about Marnus having a bowl. That was my next the question. Whole country, about the whole country <laughs> wants to see him have a bowl. This man was at Travis Scott last night. He's, he's, I reckon <laughs> and he's still he still... he would have Did good chat. Did you get chat. concussion from those guys? He, he, like would, them, yeah, <laughs> he, would have good, he would have good chat behind the stumps. Marnus? Marnus. Oh, he's so cringe. So, he on would, that, though. he said that he can bowl up to 135. And all the bowlers he's, in the team said, "Keep get him away stuck. from he bowling. Doesn't. Keep him away from bowling." His fastest he's ever bowled is one thirty-two. He was actually bowling some some decent yes, nuts. He was, the, yeah. In, in get shield. him away from the ball. So you're saying your uh, <laughs> your solution to Aussie cricket <laughs> is getting Nisa in? Play twelve yep. men. Carry out. Play no play twelve men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, carry out. Can we get Nisa in. Oh my god. Look, Kerry hit a century, didn't he? In shield. Yes, he did uh, the other day. So yeah. do you want to drop someone else? <laughs> No, I don't like Alex. <laughs> yeah, but we need to keep him, mate. Although I do like the what he did to England. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like bring in, actually, bring out Carey, bring in Josh Inglis. Life's good. <laughs> what are you Leo's doing? Life's good. <laughs> life's good. Josh Inglis is not ready for Tesk, but he's ready for white ball, though. Oh, is there any other changes we'd like to make in this? India. We haven't even touched yeah, on India. Can we talk about India? Who is going to be the standout player for India in this series? Oh, my God. Jadeja. Oh. He always seems to kill us in Australia. Yep. Uh, the brick wall. Yep. He always seems to kill oh, us. No, I'm not thinking, that. You're thinking Pajara. Pajara, sorry. Um, oh, my God. No, I think God. Um, Jadeja. He always seems to take a fire for and always make about 50 or 60. And, yep. An annoying 50 or 60. Yeah. He was the player of the series uh, last time they came out. I'm yeah, sure yeah. I think, I think it just has to be Jadeja. Yeah. I reckon. I was going to go Sharma. Although, I was going to go Sharma at the top order. Although some of the stuff that he was playing um, against... Bangladesh was it? Was playing some bad now? shots. Some bad shots. Yeah, 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 he was. Yeah. He was. Boomra. Oh, Boomra. No, it was New Zealand. Sorry, played some bad shots yeah. against New Zealand. Yeah. Boomra. Boomra. On the uh, the fast decks. Yes. Mm. Off his like five steps. And if there's one thing about Australian batters is that they get petrified of fast short bowling. Because well, every time a team comes out here, they don't have enough. The only fast batsman bowlers. that actually doesn't is from yeah the last few years that I've seen is Alex Carey. He can actually handle it. I think he minor pull shot. Everyone yeah. else gets mm. bloody terrified. Yeah. Yeah, right. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind that. The fast bowlers, because, yeah, not enough fast bowlers have sort of been coming out. And he can bowl. What can he bowl? One, does he bowl 145, 145, 145. 140. Yeah, that's exact. Mm. There's not enough teams that come out here and have that sort of bowl. Like Pakistan, Harris Ralph. Yeah. He's going to bowl like three off the pitch. Yeah. And, and then he'll bowl three at your head. Yeah. But Jeez, you whereas, hear that? <laughs> yeah, I love Harris. I actually love Harris. We can I cope with the short about. format, long yeah. format. Yeah, it's a bit different. Yeah. And oh. then the standout player for Australia in this series, lads. Who do we think? Oh, I'm just Nisa. going off the cuff. <laughs> Nisa. There's Michael not even a Michael Nisa. Michael Nisa. What, how many drinks? He's going to make good cordial, is he, at the back? No, no, he's going to, mate, he's going to take some wickets, some poles. <laughs> All right, I want a serious answer for uh, you. Um, I'm just thrown completely out of whack with what is happening. In this corner, yes. Yes, it was sort of corner, mate. Pat Cummins. <laughs> no, you, you've already given your answer. <laughs> I'll go with uh, You want a solid answer from me? No, I'm, I'm giving you a room. I'm happy you to just Trav try ball, Trav ball. Trav ball. Trav ball. He's in great form. Down the line. I'm going to go Does Gaza. Does he open? Gaza line. <laughs> Does Travis head open? What is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> You've changed the whole line. So you but like you want head to like, open? Just serious question. You want Nisa to bat at seven? I tell you who's bringing back as well. Yeah, John Bradman. He's just going to bring. Like, back. This is actually a serious question. Does Travis head open? No, no, not in tests. 
Do, do you, the only way you would open it is could, we're struggling for an opener right now. If is the last if okay, the, okay. Um, so if we need a middle order bat, who would bring is the last resort? Michael Nisa, <laughs> <laughs> middle order bat, man. Move everyone up one. <laughs> <laughs> Move everyone up Genuinely, one. where is he batting? I don't want to put him above seven or eight. What? Yes. <laughs> Put him, at, right. put him at put him at seven. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, but yeah, six. Seven. Then we've got. And then we move everyone. We up have one. <laughs> too many bowlers. No, Michael Nisa <laughs> is a good. He's good with the stick. All right, he is. He is. Then we have too many. Let bowlers. us know in the comments if you actually he's think Michael Nisa should be in this. Uh, yeah, for the series because I I think he should be for like a he test or be. two. But he's definitely not coming in as like. Oh, we better put him in as a batter as an all round. Maybe he plays not as a Gabba batter, where but like, he plays his shield at the Gabba. Sorry, I had the gather, yeah. I would space. Well, that yeah, well, think of it. Cam Green was that extra bowler. Right? Yeah, I got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah He's yeah. not gonna be playing. Nathan Nisa's a better so bowler. Move, yeah. So we move. <clears throat> it's basically green for green for Nisa, and you move Travis Head opening. But we have Mitch Marsh who can bowl. We have Head who can bowl. I'd, I'd bowl rather, Smith before no, but Marnus. Michael Nisa is. Nah, I'd bowl Marnus. Michael Nisa is a lot better bowler than <laughs> the amount of Michael Nisa on this in this thing when he might let him play a match is what. <laughs> he's so he's so much of a better bowler than Mitch Marsh. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but. We already have four frontline bowlers. Why do we need Nisa? What's he going to add that's different? <laughs> well, look, we, we, got th we got three genuine pace bowlers. Yeah, and then Mitch Marsh. That, no. That's more than enough. I don't want to see Mitch Marsh. <laughs> no, bowl. that's a great no. argument. No. He will, he will bowl and he will do enough to get six to ten overs. I'd rather see Marnus bowl, to be honest. No. Yes, I'm kidding. Bit of yeah, anyway, I'm cutting it there. Predictions for the Let's series. Let's finish the podcast. Well, we've got a bit to go. Predictions for the series. Ah. Five matches. What do we think? Two, Deep two, and one draw. Yep. Three, two, two. Ooh, actually, three, two Australia. I was gonna go Sydney will be a draw. Come on, let's I'm gonna yeah, go. Gonna Sydney. Sydney's always a washout, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. three one. Uh, three one. I'll go two. Actually, I don't mind two all as well. They'll, be, they'll beat us at the Gabba. We need a win, actually. We have to win base. because we, if a two all draw, that means India, India take the trophy. The, so they keep the trophy. That would be brutal. Yeah. That means they they've retain uh, retained the trophy or won it five mm. times in a row, which would be brutal. And the last four three of those. Wait, what did you guys say? I said two all in the end as well. So you agree? Yeah. I'll, I'll go three one. Wash out in Sydney. Okay. We'll, we'll three one Australia. Yeah. Don't mind Interesting. that. Don't Interesting. Mind Interesting. That. Yeah. All right. That's uh. That's done for the Australia versus India series. Let's get into God, our not second even favorite thing. <laughs> we're not even at the big match yet. Oh. oh, this is our favorite time of year. December fifteen, BBL fourteen begins. Mm. A lot is happening in the Big Bash. We will be there for quite a lot of it as well. Yes, and you'll be there with your mask, apparently, that I'm very excited no, to see. No, no, there's, there's going to be different stuff throughout oh the Big Bash. Oh, my God, really? Too. Yeah, he's got a van. He's got <laughs> candy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'll be there with a sign that says, follow cricket today. You'll be, we'll be having some. Still got fun. that sign? Uh, no. no I, I'll just go out the front. Gave it back to the homeless man you stole. <laughs> yeah, <from>. exactly. <laughs> and a Hungry Jacks. Yeah. I gave it back. I gave him some oh. money. It's all good. And a Hungry Jacks. Oh, let's go. Let's roll through these. All let's right. Go. Yeah. BBL 14, there's some news that coming out of it in the offseason. Tim Payne, new strikers coach, which is mm. a bit of an interesting one. Man. Obviously got yeah. in trouble uh, <laughs> since he's uh, yeah, played for Australia. I think that's a really good appointment. He's a very smart uh, cricket mind, don't you think? Yep. Oh, it's all right. It's a he's, big bash coach. They're not that, in, they're this they're not that influential. I didn't realize he's this old. He will be 40 by the time the big bash starts. Yeah, yeah. when he was playing for Australia, he was yeah, 35, 36. I thought he, yeah. I thought he oh, damn. What which is I wild for a keeper. Like it's very hard 30s, to be back. But, yeah. Damn. Uh, I love how he gets a sport and like 35 or... Bloody old. He's so old. Uh, next one that I just read yesterday, the Thunder, Sydney Thunder, get seven of their 10 matches technically at home in Sydney or Canberra. Really? Which is mm. absolute bull crap. Compared Why is to, that? So they've got- uh, They play two games against Sydney Sixers. Three games at home, which is now NG Stadium, which is GWS, so NG. Western Sydney. Then they've got three home games at Canberra, I think, or two or three home games at Canberra, must be. Yeah. And then the, uh, two more against Sydney in Sydney. Against uh, Sixers in Sydney, yeah. That's so outrageous. they get they don't they hardly have to travel. So I, I don't know about yeah how they're going to go throughout the season. They'll still but that's come last. That, do you reckon they can still come last? Early prediction is I have them last. Oh yeah. okay, but I, that's going to help them though. They hardly yeah. have to travel. So yeah, it, do they do a repeat of the the innings last season against the Strikers? When that they got wasn't that two seasons for, ago. Was it two seasons ago? Was it? Well, they get bowled out. They got up 15, 15, 14, something. Fifteen. Like that. I reckon we could unreal us. Three combined could make a better. Do you reckon we could make sixteen? Us three combined against the big say like the best. Like the scorches. Do you think we could make 16? We, we, we make more TikToks than they made runs in that innings. Whoa, bang. Well, we have made a lot of TikToks. David Warner makes more TikToks. <laughs> David Warner does make more TikToks. Then, then, then Big Bash runs last season for the Thunder. Yes, that's true. All right, let's get, let's let's get, get going. going. <laughs> Some recruits. Josh Brown is now at the Renegades. I yep, love that. Yep. Average 41 last season. That had was a, propped up by a very big time. 150 yeah. in the semi-final, I think it was. 150 mm. strike rate. That's a cool signing. I really like that. He's yep. going to be there with his... Uh, 
his bats that we I'm trying to get on I think the game. So. And the Marvel What's decks he? are very easy to bat on. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know. Oh, not always. I feel like you can you can hit big scores. They're a Marvel. bit slower. I might have to get a Josh Brown jersey. The other one was Akil <laughs> Hussain. So the Renegades lose him. He was there a couple of seasons ago. Yep. He heads to the Sixers. I think that's a great pickup. He's, he's well, a they really lost good Steve O'Keefe. He retired. That's right. So that's a that's a big uh, upgrade because Steve O'Keefe was- Steve O'Keefe did a he was bloody job at this. He was serviceable. Yes. Was he good last year? Every time he put yeah. like four overs, one I for 20 every time. I just can't stand spinners spin it. You can't, uh, you should just be called a guy that just- Isn't that what you are? I can spin it. <laughs> I, I don't always hit the pitch. We're going to go down to the nets and we're going to get the, the thing that they used to measure like the spin. Yeah. Get it. I'll, I'll show you. I can spin it. It might not always be in yeah. the right spot, but I can spin it. Uh, he had 13 something? wickets. Protractor? Protractor. That's, oh, we do a match. Measure the spin. Yeah, but- Gradient. Okay. If you want. <laughs> he had Jesus. 13 wickets at a 6.46 average in BBL 12 for Melbourne Renegades. Then we have a look at mm. the, uh, we don't have to read all these out, but I had a look at the BBL draft in the first round. Some uh, interesting ones. Shy Hope. This is just more about like players that have played at that club before. Well, not just, all of them. Shy Hope goes to the uh, Hurricanes, which is a good pickup. We loved watching him yes. in Australia. Yes. Uh, we were at the G. We were cheering him on. Yep. Uh, not really cheering him on, but we are going for Australia, but. That was when yeah, uh, we, West we Indies was struggling. Well. I'm happy if it's the same do well. Finn Allen goes to the Scorchers, so that's another new one. Yeah. Really good pick up there. Well, Laurie Evans was at the yeah, Laurie Evans was at the Scorchers now at the Renegades. Yes, Laurie Evans is a huge pickup, which I'm gonna touch on very soon. So we'll have yeah, we'll definitely mm. touch on this more probably at the start of December. I'm gonna do a whole breakdown of every team and every squad and things like that, but yep. that's just an early look. Quick questions, big questions. Best overseas recruit. Mm. Just an early look. Mm. Early look at the Big Bash. <coughs> yes. Best overseas recruit. I don't even know who this guy is, but... Well, that's very poor form by you. Read, right. read him out. I've gone a bit left field. Who? Jacob Bethel. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Stats guy doesn't even know who he is. He's playing for the Renegades, mate. Oh, I love him there. Yeah. Get around oh, him. Yeah. Get around him. <laughs> uh, Do you know who he is? Yeah. Young oh. all-rounder from yeah. England. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's okay. predominantly a batsman. He's left-handed, which is actually crucial because the Renegades have a lot of right-handed batsmen. Oh, okay. He's, a bit of a, he's got a bit of a bleach thing happening. Yes, he does. You'll hate that. Oh, um, I don't mind that. He's got the mallet. Yeah, the mallet. He'll hate no, it's like I don't know. I don't mind when, but when it's abnormal. If he, <laughs> if, <laughs> if, <laughs> if he did it red, no, you, you're okay, in the okay, okay. I, I love that. If red for the Renegades would be sick. No, that'd be. It'd be I don't know. Who cares? On a McDonald. Uh, it just bowls, shows your maturity. They do it for the kids, and you're all about it. He bowls left arm <laughs> orthodox, which is handy as well. Yes. Um, but yeah, he's a real powerful low order batsman. I think he'll surprise a lot. He got his England call up recently mm -hmm. and performed. Fairly well, like didn't do anything too outlandish, but was, wasn't was a passenger or anything. Yep. I think he's just one to watch. And if he gets the full lot of games, well, we don't know because overseas players always come and go. And, yeah. Um, yeah, just watch out for him. Don't mind that. Mm, All right. I like that. I, uh, there you go. You've sold me on Jacob Bethel. I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> All right. Fake uh, fan. I'm not a fan of English cricket. No, but the Renegades. I, when he plays a game, I'll be, I'll be cheering him <laughs> God. on. Marcus, best overseas recruit. I'm going Finn Allen. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't mind. mind. He's been in really good form. Yeah. He was. Um, he was. Excellent, actually, in the series against Australia. Yep. If you remember back, it was a little while ago, probably like six to eight months now. He was, he was. Um, and those really he, small grounds, though, in New was, Zealand. But He was yeah. one of their standouts. Um, yep. And look, and he's going slotting straight into a team that are guaranteed going to be in the semis. Yep. So he's going to get, if he stays and doesn't have to go back home, he'll stay there for, a, mm -hmm. for quite a while and um, he's he'll a score big, many runs. He's a big hit and miss. A little he bit, is, but, but you kind of need that. He gets in, he goes. You kind of need that tournament. I think he can have. And a big he, he's the kind of guy that could. He opens the batting, and gets fifty off twenty. And super and coach wise, like, it's perfect. Oh, he looks there we go. Oh. Away, Make sure boundaries. you check out our oh. super coach content that will be coming up as well for the big bash, yes. which will be probably about a month away. We'll get get into that, which will be very exciting. Yeah. All right, my best overseas recruit, lads, Laurie Evans. We already touched on boring. him. Boring. That's not. How's that boring? It's boring. Been, he's been in the, he's been in the big bash for ages. But it says best overseas recruit. Boring. Is he better than both the players you mentioned? Yes. He averaged 58.4 runs last it year and 190 strike rate for the Perth Scorchers. He's now Now, now he's going to get cursed at the Renegades. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone goes, yeah, career goes downhill at the Renegades unless your name is Adam Zampo. Oh, no. no, he was really bad as well. He was, he was poor, Aaron yeah. Finch, no. Ooh. Oh, he started really well, there, I guess. Nick Madison. Chris Gale. Oh, Chris Gale. <laughs> Nick, uh, Nick Madison. But Nick Madison forgot how to play cricket. He's at like, the Thunder yeah. this year. Is he? Yeah, yeah, he moved, yeah. He forgot how to play cricket for a solid year, Nick. Mm. Anyway, Laurie Evans. I don't understand how that's boring. He, he's awesome. So. Just, okay, we've gone, a bit, we've one, gone a bit out there with our picks. That's all right. That's like all right. They have really played that's right. You're just very base. You're staying my lane. <laughs> no way. Anyway, next one. Cult hero. Oh, I Who drink, are you following I drink plain, I drink plain milk out of a glass. I will. I will. Plain milk out of a glass. What? 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 Just that guy drinks plain milk out of a glass. Oh, very, is that type of guy? Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you do crave milk though, and you just drink it. I'm a no, big Milo. Like, I'm a big Milo man. Oh, yeah. that's a <laughs> cereal on the side. Like, get out. Oh no, no. Yeah. <laughs> get, 
Yeah. What are get you out. doing? Get out. You get out. Cold hero, Leo. Mm. Rashad Hussain. I don't mind that. So yeah, Bangladesh yeah. leg spinner, he's been drafted to the Hurricanes. Mm -hmm. He, I think, was equal third in the T20 World Cup for wickets, equal with Rashid Khan mm. on 14. Yep. yep. There's just something about the Hurricanes and having the Colts. No, Hurricanes. having Colt figure spinners. So True. you've got Peter yeah. Hatoglu, probably won't play. Yep. Paddy Dooley. Yep. That's guy like, oh look, he's perked up listening to Paddy Dooley. He's just playing and someone else. And have someone else. You can't forget what? him. Chowdhury. Oh, ah. Chowdhury. Yeah, yeah boy. No, Nikhil. There's, there's two oh. Chowdhury's here. Oh, no, oh, oh play. He plays in the soccer. I right. did it again. There's two Chowdhury's. Yes, yes. Yes, I've got a Chowdhury. The thing is, I think of him more of a of a batter. Even even Joffrey Archer is a bit of a Colt figure. Yeah, and he, he played, wasn't at, the, he played well, at the Hurricanes. Yeah. Even, I think there's a few yeah. players that are going to build into Colt figures, but I, I really That's like that. That's why I think, yeah, think yeah. Hussain's going to be one of those that builds yeah. into a Colt figure. Mm -hmm. Just something to, something about the water down there. Just, they, <laughs> they just, okay, Aussie Leo. It's a bit incest. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. I just, uh, they just breed these spinners that just have aura. <laughs> they do have aura. Yeah, yeah. Or they're a bit twitchy. But yeah, something like Twitchy's that. Twitchy's a word. <laughs> what are you trying to say there? That's how they ball. What are you trying to say? Twitchy is a word. It is a word. Yeah. All right. I've had enough of Leo. Cold hero, Marcus. I've got two. Can I do two? Oh. No. Well, stats guy doesn't oh. have one in the I've got one. I've got one. Because you, you, you don't have one. Because you don't have what one. What if, he, what if Marcus is second takes yours? Well, I'm going to do... He's not like Alaton. I'm going to do... I'm going <laughs> to <the> do... <laughs> I'm going to do Jay Fraser McGurk. Uh, that's that's bad, <laughs> but, no, but, but we love Melbourne Renegades Fraser. because of what I'm going to bring to the app match content. You should reply to my text, actually. That was... Come on, man. Yeah, bad move. <laughs> and my other <laughs> no, player... I wouldn't reply my to My other that player, <laughs> which isn't going to be stats, guys. How could we forget about this boy? We loved him from the Brisbane Heat. He came over to play, and we Paul loved him. Walter. Oh, Tall Paul. 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 I love that you Tall called Paul. him. How can we forget about this boy? He's 210 centimeters. <laughs> and you <laughs> still like, forgot about him. He's like 40. And you still forgot <laughs> about him. <laughs> Tall he's, already a, he's already, he's already a, cult. a cult hero. But These guys on the rise. Tall Paul is really good. I like your stats, guy. This is a good one. Yeah. This is a good one. What's Are you yours? done? Yeah, I'm done. No, I like that. Though. Tall Paul, Jake Fraser McGurk, the rooster. I'm going big Ferg, Fergus O'Neill. He struts around with his chain. He's in awesome form. He There's just a got... little bit of like Merv about him. There is. Yeah. There is. Just struts around. He's got the big chain. He just got picked in the Australia A squad. Yep. Dominating for Victoria at the G. So that'd be very exciting when mm. he plays at the G against the Stars. I just think when he gets a wicket as well, mm. gives the Brett Lee chainsaw, he gets up and about. Ooh, I think he's going to be is, so fun to watch. My only thing is I don't know how many games he'll play. I reckon he's going to be in the side all year. He's gonna, I would like him to be. Yeah. But they've got Kane Richardson, Tom Rogers. Gar they've recruited Gorinda Sandu. Sandu's mm. dropped off But when they though, recruit yeah. someone like that, True. they're probably going to play him. I do want to see him play though. I reckon he... he Especially with the swinging ball. Oh, like, he's really good. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's mm. really another good. Marby product from uh, Marby Sports Academy. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very excited to watch him play. He just is so confident. That's why he's a bit of a cult hero, I reckon. Yep. Finishing off for the Big Bash, BBL, very early title prediction winner for BBL 14. Very early. We very can change early. our mind when we do It's going to be very boring, but I'm going to go the Perth Scorchers. Oh, they're just always they up there. They never win anything, do they? <laughs> they're always up there. Always Their up there. bowling lineup is ridiculous of like the likes of Jai Richardson, Andrew yep. Ty. Lance Morris, you've yeah, even got predicted Mitch Marsh, crazy. Ashton Turner, Finn Allen, yep. Aaron Hardy. Oh, it's stacked. Don't mind that. Yeah, like I think that's a safe pick. Like yeah. they always make it in the top sort of three. So oh, um, were they the 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 odds on favorites? I think it's Heat or Scorchers because Heat obviously won last year. Yeah. I think they have the best bowling. Yeah, yeah. always sure. or last three years. Well, not so. always, last year, last year. Who are you going, Leo? I can't believe you're going to say this. Just let me cook. Okay, hear me out. Okay, I've let you cook for a while. The Melbourne Renegades will no. be your BBL no, 40. No, 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 no. I'm all in on the Renegades. No, I actually do don't it. mind this. I don't mind this. All right. Do you, want me, do you want me to lay down some facts for you? No, it's literally the done. least oh. favorite to win. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Odds, odds are made to. Yeah. Fact number Makes one me Josh Brown. Fact number two. I thought two, you didn't rate Josh Brown. Jake Fraser McGurk. Fact number three Laurie Evans. That's not a fact. They just listen to names. They're facts. They're playing <laughs> for the Renegades. That is a good, like, Top three. It's it so is. explosive. They got Tim Seifert. He's 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 very he's good. very yeah. explosive yeah. at the top. Jacob Bethel, mate, he's going to surprise. Just watch him. Watch <laughs> him. Surprise, mate. John <laughs> Wells is a good little steadier in the middle order. John Wells. John Wells. No, 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 no. He's no, a good. Sorry. He's a good. <laughs> no, get out. He's, he's not, not good anymore. Emphasis on the little. He's a good little and <laughs> good little steadier. He's a steady good like, more than me. Player. He, will, he will balance out the explosiveness. He's like fifty two. Then you got Will Sutherland, who's elite. You got Tom Rogers, who can do a job. Is Will Sutherland elite? He's like, he, is, he is, he is. The chief. He's, he's probably on the upper echelon of big bash players. But yeah. I, you sold me until you said John O'Reilly. Adam Zampa. <laughs> Adam Zampa. I like Adam Zampa. The bowling does give me a little bit of the... Grinder Sanders. Grinder Sanders. Yeah, a little bit of... Uh, but the batting. 
This is not for you to mention John Wall. Look, in recent years, the Renegades have gone old, experienced. Nick Madsen, Aaron Finn, Sean Marsh. Young. No one cares. <laughs> Fraser McGurk and Will Sutherland last roller. year were their best players. And now they've Let gone. Let me go and get my phone. I'm gonna put some the, money on the they've Renegades. They've gone with the with youth, and it's going to pay off big time. Gorinda Sandu, who just, <laughs> Gorinda Sandu, who's, who you brought over, is 31. Yes, prime, but prime. they also bring bring in Bethel, who's young. What about Nathan Lyon? Oh. He won't play. Yeah, he'll, he'll be, play. be in the test sort yeah. of environment. All right, Leo did cook there. Oh, I'm going to pass He did cook Peter there. Peter Siddle, he's still in the squad. He's uncontracted. I thought you were going to say unconscious. <laughs> Isn't he out of contract this year? Isn't that, does that, does that mean this year? Mm, he's not in the squad, is he? Contracted, out of contract. I think he's gone. <laughs> I think he's gone. He's old. Anyway. My title winner that This one is bad. The Hurricanes, they oh. all wear the chains. I the prefer Hobart that Hurricanes. The Renegades. Really, convince me. Yeah. Go on. Go uh, on. How am I going to convince you? You talked up one of the biggest uh, off-season recruits, Richard mm. Hussain. That's a big plus. You've got Shy Hope, which, hang on, hang on. which solidifies their middle order top order. I didn't say Hussain was going to be that good. I just said he's going to be a cult hero. No, Chris Jordan? Yeah. Do you think he's going to be good there? Be, be, be all right. Chris Jordan had an absolutely awesome year last year. He, he's just not aging. He, he just continues he's to predictable. dominate. predictable. Matty Wade. Matty Wade. He's, he's on my side. He's just doing it for me. You've got so many good spinning options that can get dot balls. So, like, yeah. Peter Hatsoka darts it in there. You've got... That's ugly won't play. Chowdhury is going to take that next step. Chowdhury I genuinely probably won't play. I think he'll play. I think I think they've just got so much depth. You've got mm -hmm. Ben McDermott, Matt Wade, that sort of alternate years of dominating. Mm -hmm. Matt Wade's still got it. He's shown, even for Australia, that he can still make runs. Yep. I just think in terms of... Guy, and then you, I didn't even talk about Nathan Ellis. Just you guys to, that yeah. know how to play T20 cricket. And you're tall bowlers, like likes of Riley Meredith. Billy Stanley. Well, I can't stand Billy Stanley, but I do like Riley. Mendes. I know, but like when bowlers are that tall, when it's coming from that high, getting some bouncing wickets, yeah. I think particularly in Hobart mm -hmm. as well. Um, yeah, it's just the small grounds. So you're going to see some big scores. Nice. They're batting worries. I think it relies on McDermott and Wade. Yeah. And Jewel they've shown is very good at the and top. Jewel, nah, he's so inconsistent though. Yeah. But I just think Shy Hope. Shy Hope could make some runs. McDermott, sometimes these guys go at the 100 strike rate. You're True. like, We've got to move it on a little bit later. So I think we'll re rely on McDermott sort of going back to that couple of seasons ago form. So we'll, we'll see how they go. But I genuinely That's think they're, they have really good depth, I think. That's just my call. That's a shock. I think we talked down the heat last year and they won the title. So. True. Yeah, you guys put them last. Oh, I yeah, you did. put them last. That's right. <laughs> true, true. Forgot about that. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Big call for the summer ahead. I don't even know if we've all got a big call, but yeah, we'll I'm start with Leo and then we'll just in. talk about it. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. my completely fresh, brand new big call that <laughs> no one else has ever done before. Minus Labashane gets dropped from the test team by the end of the summer. I have a problem with this. You said this last summer. So I said this last summer and you stole it. I have a memory of a goldfish. I was on, I it, I was on it 12 months ago. <laughs> I don't remember you saying that. Oh, I do remember him saying that. I'll just lay out a few facts. His averages the last two years have gone down in test cricket. He averaged 34 in 2023, 29 so far in 2024. Ooh. That stays up. Mm. By that Sri Lanka series at the end, he could be out of that's the why, That's why he's focusing on his bowling. So Nisi will come in at three. Oh, is that your big call that Nisi is going to dominate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want Nisa, Nisa, nah, you can't, oh, you can't, nah. Nisa to take Pfeiffer in a match. In shield cricket. Yeah, yeah. He's going to drink, yeah, give out five <laughs> drinks. My big call is... Oh, you have a big call, damn. That means I've got to have a big my call. My big call... <laughs> well, it's not really a big call. It's just... Oh. Well, then just Leo to be wrong all summer. Oh, no. Nah, that, that's, <laughs> that's not that big, mate. <laughs> all summer. That's not, not that big. <laughs> that's that just, oh, I think I was wrong all last summer, so... Yeah. It's not you that big a, a Well, you had a couple of decent calls. My big Remind call me. is a big call. Marcus will sleep in and miss one of these shows. No, or is that, or is that, or is that just no. gonna do something cricket related? You're the host. You haven't even prepared big anything. Call. Leo's gonna return to playing cricket and make a hundred. Big call. <laughs> big call. We meet and oh. film shorts with Bubba Razan. No, nah, we're not filming shorts. Wait, it's a big call. No, but like, we'll, like, Don't we'll, do some, we'll ask him some questions. The, uh, yeah, the, actually, my big call is I think Pakistan in one of those matches is gonna dominate Australia just randomly. Like, they'll just absolutely dominate. That's a big call. Think, a big call? Like, like, dominate randomly? I reckon- Like, like they'll bowl us out for like 90 or 80. There's better odds of us bowling them out for like 50. That's my point. Yeah. yeah. That's a big call. It was pretty ordinary big Go calls on, continue. There, like. hey, I'm done. All right. the show, mate. We're getting rid of Give the- Give us some uh, big calls for the, for the Australian summer in the comments. Yes. Yeah, we'll read them out on the next show. That's for sure. It's almost next like week. he's doing the host job. That's all right. I've done enough, haven't I? Uh, fan questions. <laughs> we're going to finish off. Boy, has gone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Couple more fan questions. NBA Australia on Twitter. We're going to yes, finish off. Yes, we with. love NBA Australia. We love NBA Australia. Make sure you check that out. It's back. NBA is back today, so Jim mm. will be fired up for that show. Could anyone in the current Australian team beat current day Merv Hughes in an arm wrestling contest? 
I did Murph see Hughes is a big man. I did Marsh? see Murph Hughes only about a, mu- a month ago. Uh, I think he's lost a, a bit of muscle. At the same time, not same <laughs> He'd still be tough though. He'd have the. Grip. He's got the big mustache. Mitch Marsh. They call Ooh. him the Bison. He's the only one. Yeah, I, I think reckon. I think it just has to be Mitch Marsh. Like I, I can see Murph beating like Stark. Even. Pat Cummins is a bit solid around the yeah, arms. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. would 100 percent beat Nathan Lyon. He could just yeah, throw but Nathan Pat Lyon Cummins would try and like talk to him or something. I don't know. It'd be weird. Talk about him about the environment. It'd be too nice would, to him. And too, just be too like, woke. <sighs> He's too woke. Murphy Hughes would like burp and then you. Oh, <laughs> He's not. I don't mind that. So we. Yeah. I, I think yeah, you're right. I think the only one the that bison? I'm confident on is the Bison Mitch Marsh. Yeah. yeah. Good question from Jim there. Another one. Yeah. Alex uh, is uh, sent in a question. This is very uh, straightforward. Oh, quickly. What? Yes. Who could drink more beers, Travis Head or Murphy? Murf. Battle of the stash. Merv. Merv has I think bigger Merv, surface yeah. area to drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I reckon I like he's it. got a, he, he could yeah. down him easy. Anyway, back to Alex. Or Booney. Now Booney doesn't drink anymore, actually. Alex, uh, his question, why is GM the best bat maker of all time and why isn't anyone using them? The fact that um, he's put them both in the same sentence means it's not the best bat maker. Because they don't have as much money as Kookaburra and Grey Nichols to Do sponsor athletes. Do you that's what Growing up, I always admi- admired a GM bat I do like a GM uh, Watson had a GM yeah. growing, didn't he? I think. Uh, for a little while, yeah, yes. I think he was sponsored by them. Like Cooker Bar has always been my favorite because you got yeah. Ricky Ponting, Gray Nichols uh, does the job, Justin Langer. Yeah, what's yeah, your what's tough? Oh, like, normally my go. I did have a, I had a Puma Nichols. bat when I was younger. Puma, it was really. We should actually do a short yeah. on that. Ranking bats, ranking bats. Ranking there we go. Bats. Might need a different title. Mm. <laughs> As if Marcus didn't bite on that one. <laughs> let's wrap this show up. And let's wrap the show. That stops for the Cricket Today show. <laughs> we'll be back with this show weekly for now and then uh, a lot during the summer. We're very excited for that. We're going to oh, be yeah. doing super coach. We're going to do you in Australia versus India, Australia versus Pakistan. Make sure you check us out, all the socials, Cricket Today. Here. Send in mm. any questions. Uh, we'll be answering all the questions as we did today. Yep. Thank you very much, Olivia and Joe behind the camera. Thanks to you two, Knuckleheads. Thanks to you, Bonehead. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thank you, Spence. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. All right, Mr. Formal. Thanks to me, and that's another episode of Cricket Day done. We're finally back, and we're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.